What's new for 2025 Nissan Rogue? Well, this is definitely new. The adventure ready new trim Rock Creek 2025 Rogue. Yes, Nissan Rogue, all wheel drive and Rock Creek. That's the new one, Rock Creek. I'm here at Fred Anderson Nissan of Raleigh. We're behind the lot. Found a nice little secluded area, mostly secluded. We're gonna look at this Rock Creek. This is an Everest white. You can also choose this new trim level in super black, bold or gray, in Baja Storm. I see lava red accents. It's adventure ready, the window sticker says. Let's see if they're right. In this video, we're gonna look at the inside, the outside. This is our interior first look, and we'll check out the pricing and see what's standard on Rock Creek. Is this a formidable competitor in the small SUV class? Can it beat RAV4? Can it do wonders against the Honda CRV. We're about to find out. What about something like a Kia Sportage? How does this one fare? I invite you to take a look at this video and tell me how they rate against the others. This is a 1.5 liter variable compression turbo engine, 201 horsepower and 225 pound feet of torque. This has Xtronic CVT intelligent all wheel drive and retuned dampers for off-road duty. And when you're looking at that suspension, it is independent strut suspension with coil springs in the front and independent multi-link suspension with coil springs in the back. Look for front disc brakes and rear disc brakes. Also, this has best in class gas engine MPG. 29 combined, 27 in the city, 32 on the highway. Got that right from the press release. The front end, we're gonna go all the way around, but let's start here. We've got a gloss black grill with silver accent pieces, lava red Nissan logo. Look at the lava red. We're gonna see a lot of lava accents around here. LED headlights, daytime running lights. This is gonna also have a cool feature, the intelligent around view monitor so we can see for off-roading what is gonna be in the way. It also has moving object detection with the off-road mode. Look at this paint, it's beautiful. It's a pearlescent finish here. That is bright. 17 inch wheels, Falcon Wild Peak Trail, all-terrain tires. Boom, I like that. I love how the one spoke has the logo on it. This is super cool. So let's take a look, Rock Creek, it's got matte black down below. I guess if you're going to scrape against some weeds or something like that, it's not gonna scuff up the paint as much. Gloss black here, gloss black on the pillar, tubular roof rack with crossbars. Great badging, great use of badging. This is really cool, interesting design here. Look, it's totally tubular, man. It's got chrome around the top of the windows, black on the pillars. This is very, very rugged looking. I can see why people would choose this over a traditional trim level that you're used to with the Rogue. You wanna be different. You wanna be rugged, you wanna be tough. Speaking of rugged and tough and bold, we're gonna look right now at this display screen once we turn this selection dial because we can choose different modes of driving like this, like this. Just keep moving it around, my friends. And then we could do this. So here we go. What do we got? Off-road mode, snow mode, auto, eco, and sport. Now watch this. Let's go back to off-road mode. Oh, look at this. This is the intelligent view for off-roading. So you can see down below, it has the invisible hood view too. Now check this out. Look at that. We can see along the sides, it gives us a little buffer, a little barrier on either side. Shows us in front. I like that very, very much. Matter of fact, let's put it in reverse. Super cool. And look at this. We're just in normal mode now. So we're going and looking at the invisible hood view so we can see what's directly underneath. Isn't that amazing? LED tail light design, look how it sweeps around juts out pretty impressive it does have the exposed wiper it certainly would be nice if it came from here it was hidden but not many do here we go nissan rogue in black but lava red as well all-wheel drive has reverse 
parking sensors. And the towing capacity on Rock Creek is 1,500 pounds. Good amount of storage space in here, cargo capacity, we could call it. These are the mats that you could use also, the Rock Creek that comes with it. Boom, so here we go. The cargo liner that says Rock Creek, 36 and a half cubic feet of space right here with the seats up, 74.1 to be exact, when you have the seats down. Look at all that room there. It's wide, it's tall, it's raised up. The roof is raised, raise the roof. Look at that. So we've got little storage bins here, also tie down so you can bungee strap things. 12 volt circular in the back, a little room for maybe a first aid kit. How about that? And then underneath here, we can see a little bit of extra room if you wanted to use it along with the spare tire. If you're a backseat passenger, what are you going to experience with the seats all the way back? Like this one, listen to how solid that sounds. That's good. So we've got good leg room here. If the seat's all the way back and reclined, a tall driver, let's say. Look at the headroom here, 39.2 inches of rear seat headroom, 38.5 of rear seat leg room. There's a little hump right down here, just a little one. Seats are very comfortable. It's cloth and leatherette seating. Nice, I wish there were two seat pockets. There's only one. I like the lava red accents as well, and the seats are very comfortable when I lean back. I lean back, lean back, lean back. How about the materials here? That's harder. This is soft touch right here, so that's very plush. Soft touch here, a little bit of a brushed, glossy look there. Big, deep, thick cup holders that we can use. And then what about this arm? Oh yeah, see that's pretty chunky, that's good. Not the best, certainly far from the worst. It's actually very good. It's got good arm size right here for an elbow. An elbow, actually, that's very nice. And then easy to get to the child safety latches here. So leatherette seating, which is very comfortable, very plush. This is not hard at all. And then look, cloth, leatherette. Looks very nice. I also see here USB-Cs rear air and then look at that dash. I'm sure every manufacturer wishes that they could make it a power passenger seat because of cost that doesn't always happen so this one has the bar that goes forward and backward and that you can recline right there. This seat has good bolstering on the side should lock you in very comfortably not severe but comfortably. Rock Creek right there I love the lava accents the theme goes all the way throughout the whole entire cabin. Plush, soft touch, Look, it can fit my bald fist. Nice. And then it's like a bald eagle, except for it's a fist. All right, look at that. We can put a bag, any type of trinkets that you want in there, but there's good space for that. And then this one opens this way. Decent sized glove box, not huge, decent, it's okay. Eight inch multimedia touch screen here. It's got the dimmer, but it's the manual one that you pull back. A lean back, lean back. So in here, nice, deep, it's very deep. See, it goes butt forearm right there. I like it. Our drive modes, our cup holders, electronic parking brake and auto hold. And then this right here is a nice place to put things. Wireless charger would be nice on this particular trim, but it's not. It's okay, push button start, USB-Cs and 12 volt circular. I like how this one, when you turn it, it goes tick, 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 tick on your hand. You can feel it, it's a tactile response. Very nice, and look, heated seats, standard. Impressive, most impressive. You know what, the Rock Creek does not have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. That's reserved standard for the SL and for the Platinum versions. Bummer there. I like using my wireless one, but I also plug it in to charge it a lot, so I guess that would be okay. You just need to bring a cord with you. It's not the worst thing in the world. Look at this though, it twists, turns, goes up and down, does it pretty quickly. I like the material here in the seats. Very nice interior, actually. It's a combination of sporty with convenience, with luxury. Let's test out the horn. There we go. All right, leather wrapped steering wheel. I like that a lot. Steering assist, do you want that on or do you want that off? Auto, engine start off, do we want that on? Nice, and then the back tailgate as well. And across the screen, let's see what kind of information we can see here. 
A lot of our safety devices here, settings. So again, this is designed that there are a lot of different functions. Let's keep going here. Okay, so that one's just the speed. I like having the digital speed. Oh, I like it in big print too. I like you, Mary. I like you a lot. Let's keep going. What else can we see? Oh, I like that. Okay, so that's what we can see on this particular screen. On this eight inch screen here, we can slide across our menu, Bluetooth audio. We can go Hollywood nights in those Hollywood hills. He's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm from Jackson, Michigan. So boom, we're similar. Same thing. So you can customize a lot of your information on this one. We can go between, look at this, 18 different things that we can plug in. The Beatles. I like it. Nice. So we can do 80s on 8 too. Modern love. Modern love. Uh, 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 uh. Beautiful. So that's what that can do here. This has the manual dimmer. Sunglass holder. Yes. Light, light. It'd be nice to see LED lights there. Not all cars have that. Sliding visor with light so we can see whoop all the way across that nice window speaking of window let's check out the visibility it's very good in here look at that lots of windows including the one in the back that's strong this is a good looking vehicle a good looking ride i'll be curious to see what you guys think let's take a look at the window sticker the 2025 nissan rogue all-wheel drive here the standard features here what jumps out at you on this particular one there's so many safety features conveniences luxury and of course, this one is off-road capable, judging by these Rock Creek unique features. Which one stands out to you most? This one starts at 35420, and we do have delivery in here, add in splash guards, paint and the cargo mats, the liner, first aid kit even, get you at 37925. Look at the gas mileage here, all the way up to 27. Of course, Rogue goes up to 37 MPG. This one's at Fred Anderson Nissan of Raleigh. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. What do you think about Nissan Rogue and the Rock Creek? I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.